up, Jen? I'm actually, you're not, you're not actually going to wear that, are you? I'm just kidding. Or, or, or am I? Today we're talking about 10 unstylish items that guys need to stop wear. And before you start off freaking out and giving this video a thumbs down, I hate your ass face alpha, you suck. But the truth is, style is subjective. My opinion might be different than yours, but with these 10 doozies, my opinion is actually right. Starting with number one, curling collars. If your collar looks like the one on the left, you lose. You lose. In the game of style, you have officially lost. You gotta make sure if you're wearing collars that they are crisp, they are clean. Number two is over accessorization. Accessorization over load. Accessories are amazing when used responsibly and in moderation. There's a fine line between being well accessorized and just like crazy over the top, next level, stupid. And unfortunately, there is no like set in stone, wear three, wear two, wear one. It really depends depends on the individual and the accessories that you're wearing. Some guys can get away with wearing multiple rings on a hand. Some guys can get away with wearing bracelets on both wrists and chains and do-rags and all sorts of things, but the majority of us can't, so don't. Number three is baseball hats everywhere. I love baseball hats. They just don't love my ears. <laughs> Seriously, like I, I look ridiculous in baseball hats. You might look amazing, but looking amazing and wearing them all the time in every situation with every outfit is definitely not stylish. It's not appropriate. It makes you look sloppy, casual, and like a little boy. Number four, worn out, tired t-shirts. Do any of your t-shirts look like this with collars that are all stretched out, worn out? The t-shirt just doesn't look that good. It's faded, it doesn't fit right. Or does your t-shirt look like this? like this. This t-shirt is from my boy Jose Zuniga's line Essentials, which a lot of you guys were like, yo, I want to grab one. And then they sold out in literally like two days when I talked about them before and when Jose did his drop. Well, the good news is that they're coming up with another drop. And if you want to get on the mailing list so that you're notified like the minute that the store opens so that you can grab one of these incredible shirts or the Essential Long Sleeve t-shirt. What? Are you kidding me? This shirt is so bad it's it's ridiculous it's a little bit longer in the front and in the back it comes up on the side but it's perfect it's sort of casual cool and it looks incredible with jeans it's perfect for the fall throwing it on in the winter this shirt is amazing this shirt just fits like flawlessly i absolutely love it and like this winter this is going to be like my go-to outfit going to be a long sleeve tee from essentials a pair of distressed jeans and a pair of boots like it's just perfect it's clean it's masculine but at the same time sexy gentlemen november 24th 10 a.m guys if you want to be notified when the store opens and they drop not only the stuff that i showed you but they've got like a whole new line of like Henleys, they've got track pants, no-show socks, like they've got amazing uh, hoodies. They've got hoodies coming, which I can't wait to get my grubby little stylish paws on. Guys, there's a link down below to go sign up for their newsletter. I highly, and when I mean highly, I mean you've got to go sign up so you don't miss out. The stuff is incredible. It sells out so freaking fast. If you aren't on the list, you're not going to get it. So guys, link below, go sign up. Their stuff is ridiculous. It also makes an amazing Christmas present if you've got friends. Um, and they're into like looking sharp and wearing stylish clothes guys It doesn't get any better in terms of fit in terms of quality in terms of price than essentials by my boy Jose Zuniga link below go sign up set a reminder on your phone I'm telling you you do not want to miss this drop fifth unstylish item the guy should stop wearing plastic boots aka fake leather boots in my opinion you can tell. Like, anybody who says, like, you can't tell the difference between leather and not, you can freaking tell. And I know that leather is more expensive than the non-leather options. What I'd recommend is save up because you really cannot beat a great pair of genuine leather boots. Now, if you're somebody who does not want to wear leather for personal reasons, I totally can dig that and appreciate it. Um, I would probably look for other options because... I don't know, plastic boots just really, in my opinion, make you look super cheap and like you don't know what's going on, stylistically speaking, number six. Pants that are too tight. So one of the one of the issues that I see a lot of guys facing is that we talk all about like slim fit and it should be slim fit and all the slim fit. I hear slim fit all the time, but there is a fine line between slim fit and wearing slim fit that fits and pants that are too damn tight. Number seven is 
shitty shorts. Even the best of us wear shitty shorts at times. Big, baggy, Cargo shorts are, in my opinion, one of the biggest mistakes that guys make because they make you look short, they make you look dumpy. Now, the beautiful thing is that because everybody is into tailored clothing these days, a lot of manufacturers, a lot of designers are making cargo shorts, if you're into them, that are a little bit more tapered. You want to make sure, in order to maximize your sexiness, that you're not wearing shorts that come below the knee. Also, the leg shouldn't be super big and baggy. Number eight is one that we've talked about on multiple occasions occasions and it's wearing dress shirts untucked. The deal is this, button up shirts, if it is a dress shirt, it's going to be a little bit longer. They are designed to be longer. So it's going to have a tail in the front, a tail in the back. It's going to come down well below your crotch. And the idea is that when a man tucks this in, it actually stays tucked. Now the truth is that unless it's fitted, it's going to muffin top all day long. You cannot wear a dress shirt untucked because it looks like a dress shirt that is untucked. Ninth, unstyled thing guys need to stop wearing is no-show socks that actually show. The whole premise behind no-show socks is that your shoes don't get stinky, you don't get blisters, but you have the illusion of going sockless and looking cool. Uh, here's an example of a no-show sock with a very small opening. Typically, the smaller the opening, the more you're actually going to see when you're wearing it. This is something like this. See how large that opening is? You're not going to be able to see it when you're wearing this sock. When you're wearing this sock, you will. And last, but certainly not least, the 10th unstoppable stylish thing that guys need to stop wearing is baggy butt pants. Having a lot of extra fabric in the seat of your pants is something that makes you look dumpy, it makes your ass look super flat, and it makes you look like you took a big crap in your pants. Gentlemen, your ass is amazing, so make sure everybody knows it. Who's your daddy?